good, YouTube? You know who it is. Chris Jones, representing Physiques of Greatness. And right now I'm on the couch watching myself, you know. I'm watching my old posing video back when I was dieting. Matter of fact, I'll put a link to it in the description right here for you if you're interested. You know, it sucks, man, bulking up, you know, and seeing yourself when you were actually looking good, you know. But fuck all that, man. I get a lot of questions about uh, hat squats versus regular barbell squats, all right? And I'm going to give you my take on it real quick, and I'm going to send you guys on your way. Now, barbell squats, free weighted, of course, you know what I mean, are great for overall leg development. If you're going slightly below parallel, let me turn this shit, this shit distracting the fuck out of me. All right, if you're going slightly below parallel, you're going to activate glutes, hamstrings, and quads, and your core, you know what I mean, hip flexors, all that shit. I mean, it don't get no better than that. It's common sense that barbell squats are the best workout to do for overall leg development. Now, hat squats, on the other hand, you don't get those benefits. You don't have to balance your body. You're pretty much going up and down a sled. Now, let me tell you this, guys. I don't know why people think that quads are different than any other muscle on the body, but quads are not different than any other muscle on the body. They're no different than calves. They're no different than arms. They're muscles just like any other muscle. And with that said, muscles grow from time under tension, progressive overloading with resistance. That is how they grow. Your muscles do not know, nor do they care, what exercise you are doing. You know what I mean? It doesn't know the difference. So with that said, when it comes to um, when it comes to quads, it doesn't matter if you're doing the uh, barbell squat or the hack squat. You know, so your quads don't know the difference. As long as you're progressively overloading the muscle, it doesn't fucking matter if you're squatting or hack squatting. Now, you're talking about overall leg development, glutes, hams, and quads, then yes. Barbell squats is the granddaddy of them all. It is the best of the best. It is the cream of the crop. But unfortunately, man, there's just some people who don't have the, the, the hip flexibility to go ask the grass squats. Some people have bad backs. So you mean to tell me those guys are assed out? So if you got a bad back, if you can't squat, you're not going to build no quads? That's a fucking lie. I've trained many people who have bad backs, and they have some damn good quads. You know what I mean? And they on squat a day in their life. They doing hack squats and leg pressing. You know what I mean? You can still build great quads without squatting. You know what I mean? So like I said, wrap this shit all up. Overall leg development, squats is king. But if we're just talking quads here, you can stimulate quad growth without doing squats. You can do hack squats, leg presses, lunges, front squats. Those will build your quads just as well as long as you're progressively overloading the muscle. Well, anyway, guys, I don't want to hold you long, but before you go, you already know what you got to do. Don't forget to like my shit. And if you have any more uh, questions, comment below. And I try to make a video on it. You know what I mean? And don't forget, Ask POG is in full effect. So make sure you send some Ask POG videos for me. And that's it, guys. Y'all have a great day.